video uh, we are going to calculate uh, we are going to write a program uh, to find a to find transpose of a matrix as you should be aware uh, about what is a transpose of a matrix uh, so uh, like if there is a if there is a matrix uh, just let me comment uh, if there is a matrix let's say uh, a b c and a b c and then d e f okay and so the transpose of this transposed matrix so the transpose of this given matrix would be uh, a b c and uh, then uh, here d e f okay so uh, we are going to write the program for doing the same okay so uh, firstly uh, i would uh, uh, initialize the main function and uh, inside the main function i'll declare the columns and rows so row is equals to 2 and uh, value column is equals to c o l u column is equals to 3 okay now uh, i'll uh, take a matrix let's say the matrix is uh, array of array of uh, int array uh, 2 3 4 and again int array of uh, let's say 5 4 5 6 4 okay now uh, uh, firstly we will display the current matrix for so for displaying the current matrix uh, instead of using the for loop or the loops that we used in the last uh, video uh, we will just use the uh, keyword display and then i'll pass the matrix okay so uh, uh, in the program uh, display function is uh, only used to print contents of a matrix okay and now uh, i'll initialize the uh, the display function okay okay so now uh, inside the display function what i'll do is i have to print the display function okay so as we did in the uh, last video i'll print ln uh, the matrix is and then colon okay and then for row in matrix and uh, then for column in matrix now i have to print i have to print mm, column and then some spaces now outside this first for loop i will print ln okay so uh, this is the code to uh, display the matrix as we did in the uh, last video so uh, we have displayed the particular matrix now uh, what we can do is uh, we can uh, what we will do is we will transpose the matrix so uh, for transposing the matrix what we have to do is we have to uh, like I can uh, introduce another uh, matrix uh, called transpose and uh, 
let it be equals to the uh, array column and uh, then int array row so uh, what this particular line means is uh, the column in the transpose is equals to the uh, column in the array okay so uh, and so when i hover over it it's a well column int okay and when i hover over this this is the array and then this is size and then this is in it and then there is an int okay so it it uh, what it does is it uh, decides the size of the particular uh, array okay uh, so uh, sorry a matrix so for uh, i in 0 to row minus 1 uh, and uh, inside this i'll uh, take another uh, for statement for i in 0 to column minus 1 and inside this what i'll do is uh, i'll make transpose the uh, one the transpose one one okay transpose so i'll do j i here because uh, sorry uh, here would be j because uh, the transpose 1 1 is equals to uh, the transpose of 1 1 is equals to 1 1 the transpose of 2 1 is 1 2 okay so the transpose of 2 1 is matrix of 1 2 so i can here do i and then j okay now uh, we have uh, transposed the matrix so finally we have to display the transpose okay so this uh, display transpose and uh, I have already declared the display function so I'll display the transpose and uh, I'll go ahead and run this okay okay there is again some problem Okay, here uh, it should be uh, column in row, not column in matrix. So when I uh, run this, yeah, I can see that this is the matrix in the starting and this is the transpose matrix. Okay, so in this video we have uh, basically uh, transposed a matrix. Okay, so that's all for this video. Stay tuned.